We all have two people. We all have two people. And I'm not saying you're crazy. We have the easy voice. That's that voice that we all love. That's that very comfortable voice that, that's that mommy holding you saying, it's going to be okay. Doesn't care how good you are, just loves you. Just loves you no matter how messed up you are in life. So that's that one voice. This other voice that we walk very far away from is the voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing it. So we try to get this voice out of our head completely. And we live over here in this land. So what you have to do first is turn up this voice over here. The voice saying things to you that aren't nice. That it's in our head saying, you know what, man? Dude, you're not, you're not doing shit. I'm not saying to put yourself down. I'm saying listen to the truth. And the truth isn't in the 20%. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look, man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, 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 self-doubt, darkness, and then a whole bunch of light. But to get to this light, you got to go through all of this. So a lot of us know that. I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better because I got to go through this journey that is not fun. This, this from 20 to 100%, this shit in, in between is not fun. So we decide to live over here. So everybody goes, how do we do that? You know exactly how to do that. You know exactly, it's, it's not a magic trick. There's nothing I talk about that's a magic trick. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't know that, that, that we're doing. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, I'm not saying physical, I'm not saying you got to break yourself off. The amount of mental pain of how many times you're going to have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. When I was 297 pounds and I was fat as hell trying to be a Navy SEAL, the scariest thing in the world to me, even to this day, was that that could have been the rest of my life. I thought then I was trying hard. That's the scariest thing in the world. I thought then, 297 pound, working for Ecolab, spraying for cockroaches, making $1,000 a month. I thought that was me at my 100% potential. Come to find out, a few years later, I wasn't anywhere near that. 106 pounds less, graduated Navy SEAL training, went on to do all these other things. Looking back on that, that was me trying hard. That's why people gotta understand, what is in us, we have no idea until we start trying hard. And I mean really trying hard, when you're obsessed with, hey, this is my new norm. My new norm is that, wow, this isn't always fun. It's not always meant to be fun. And that's when you know you're trying hard. Is that, and so people listen to us that maybe are at 20% or 30%, you know, about, yeah, I'm, I'm going hard, I'm going max. And yet they're not seeing the results. Like how do they actually shoot themselves out of that? We're all in a battle with our own brains. That's all life, that's it's, all life is. It's the most powerful thing in the world, is your own brain. It can work for you or against you. And as, as opposed to focusing on all those bad things that happened, all the things you didn't have, the people that called you names, all the stuff you was doing again, and you start thinking, wait a second, I just visualized this, and now I can take it to the next level, next level. Because the visualization got you through the It did, and I was able to visualize the end. So, so before, so when I was 297, and I was all fat and out of shape, and I couldn't run a quarter mile, and I was drinking milkshakes and eating boxes of donuts, I visualized, man, how would it feel for a brief moment 
I was, so there were 22 guys that graduated. I watched this segment on TV about these guys going to Navy SEAL training. And I couldn't even, I, I wasn't a great swimmer. I was afraid of the water, all this crap, man. But at the very end, it says 22 guys, this command officer's up there and he gives this great speech. I was like, man, I wonder. So I started visualizing me being the 23rd guy in these dress whites, sitting there with these guys, getting that Navy SEAL, you know, graduating this Navy SEAL training. I was like, God. So I put myself there. I was like, man, that's, that's an amazing feeling. I put myself there at 297, not even able to do anything that these great men were doing. I said, man, if I could feel that, that would change my life. I could just feel that one, it's, it, it lasts for one second. You get that certificate, you walk across the stage, and what's next? But I didn't know that then. My mind was that I thought I lived in that moment forever. So I said, wow, man, if I could just feel like that. If I could feel like that. And what was that feeling you wanted to have? Was that no. Victory. I wanted to win. Not like beat somebody else. It wasn't about that. I, I, I just wanted to go the distance. Everything in my life, when something got hard, I quit. If it was reading, that's where you know, I wasn't great at reading, I wasn't great at writing, so I just quit. I couldn't catch on as fast as you. I had to work harder than you, so I quit. You know, I wasn't great at things, so I quit. You know, I'm, I'm not good at this. Like, man, if I could just go that distance, that extra mile, to just go, just, just to finish. I want to finish. I want to feel victory. And victory for me wasn't winning, it was just finishing. So I said, you know what? If I could feel like these guys feel, it would change my life. But what I realized, the best feeling I had was when I was by myself trying to lose this weight. I had, I had to lose it in literally less than three months. 106 pounds in less than three months. And literally, I started feeling victory just by putting myself in the battle. It wasn't about going to Navy SEAL training. It wasn't about being the 23rd guy in that chair. I started realizing, man, just by going to war with myself every day and putting these challenges and these goals and these obstacles, these insurmountable obstacles. So it wasn't about losing 106 pounds. Me losing five pounds was an accomplishment. Me losing 10 pounds and then 50 pounds. And then the more I did this, the more I gained confidence. And then the more I gained confidence, the more I realized, these guys can't do what I'm doing right now. I had no coach, had no trainer, had no money. I didn't know how to lose weight. I had no knowledge of what I was doing. I was just working. I was just sacrificing. And then through that, all these different tools started coming up. But I would have never found these tools if I didn't put myself in a very uncomfortable place. We all look for toughness. We all want it but we look for it in a comfortable environment. You will not find toughness in a comfortable environment. Those of you who are listening to this, whoever hear this, you will not find it. 